Chiapa triple threat, because sometimes two answers aren't enough. You need three. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Um, we were hanging out on Christmas break and William came over and I completely forgot about the fact that, uh, that I bought him a triple threat for Christmas one year. He brought it over. We were going to do a little bit of hanging out and shooting. And I realized like, man, I don't even think we've done a video with this shotgun yet. What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> so he left it with me and we figured we would take it out and do a little bit of an expose on it. You do have screw in chokes on this particular shotgun. One of the most unique features obviously is that it's a three barrel shotgun. And um, you get one round per pull of the trigger. So you can shoot those three rounds as fast as you want. You saw I shot pretty fast there uh, in the intro. But right now we've got cylinder bore uh, tubes in it because we want to shoot slugs and buckshot and all kind of crazy stuff. But I've heard of some people taking these triple threats and going out and shooting skeet and what manner of stuff they want. But personally, I'm more of a slugs and buckshot kind of guy. Um, if you pull the butt plate off, the butt pad, I should say, you can actually take the rear of the stock off and put it into a more compact configuration. That brings the overall length right at 26 inches. Um, but it is a very, actually a very comfortable gun to shoot, very handy, and um, a very full featured and you know very good quality shotgun overall. Uh, Chiapa, you guys are probably uh, familiar with the Rhino revolver. Um, that's probably one of the things that they're the most well known for is the Rhino, the triple threat. Also the Excalibur system is another Chiapa product. You guys have probably seen that survival shotgun with all the inserts that come in like the little pouch and all. I think it's called the Excalibur. Um, that's another product that Chiapa makes that they're kind of well known for that as well. So uh, really cool. Tell you what, let's take a couple of mini shells. Uh, these are Agula uh, mini slugs. And uh, let's see if these mini slugs will uh, produce a little bit of carnage. And I'm gonna try to shoot them pretty fast. We're just having fun here with this thing, guys. Let's group one on the plate there and see where it's at. Oh, now that, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> All right, more, more. <laughs> so neat, man. All right, how about a soda? See if we can hit one. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, a couple more slugs. Those didn't group too terrible at all. They're at close range. All right, those mini slugs are a lot of fun, uh, but we're gonna step up the game just to scotch here. We're gonna shoot some nine pellet uh, Federal Double Alt. This is what we were running uh, at the beginning of the video. Let's take out some of our, uh, our fruity brethren down here. Have a little fun, shall we? These shotguns are kind of cool. I mean, I suppose maybe in some circles be considered kind of gimmicky, but it is a fun shotgun to shoot and it is a real head turner at the range. Every time you show up somewhere with this thing, people just can't believe that you got three barrels, but all right. All right, Mr. Watermelon, here we go.
not terrible got a better recoil with those all right Yeah, when we break into some of these slugs here in a few minutes, it's going to be interesting. Let's see how this buckshot groups over here on this plate. <laughs> that is a lot of energy. Speaking of energy, <laughs> all right. We got some Berniki Tactical Home Defense Reduce Recoil 12 gauge, one ounce shotgun slugs. Reduced recoil, you say? All right, let's see what happens. I'm just gonna print these over there on that gong and see where they print. The little mini uh, shells there from uh, Aguila, they grouped right there on the gong. Let's see what these do. Not terrible, I've got a couple more. Let's see. Ooh, those got a little bit of corrosion on them. Let's, let's retire those. All right, Berniki one ounce KOs. It's got a punching glove <laughs> on the box. Improved faster than ever. Well, okay, cool stuff. You know, a lot of times when we make these random shotgun videos, we like to just grab a random smorgasbord of random ammo from the bin and just see what happens. All right, how about a slug to that popper right there? He's just kind of looking at me, glaring. Let's see if we can hit him. Stack two right on top of each other. Not bad. You know, and the thing is about a multi-barrel gun like this, is that in order for those barrels to be regulated to a very similar point of aim, it's actually, you know, they have to have special jigs when they solder these barrels so that they can make sure that that alignment is precise. And it takes a lot of playing around to make sure that it's just right. So that, you know, a lot of people wonder why these shotguns are kind of priced like they are. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but the reason is, is because when you have uh, such a precise operation as soldering three barrels together like that and then making all of this, the, the alignment uh, of the shots line up, that takes a good bit of skill and time and, you know, it's uh, definitely not just a, a stroll in the park. All right, last but not least. <laughs> all right, these are Kent Cartridge five-star deer slugs. All right, one ounce going 17.50. Woo! Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's high brass. It's black and everything. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, man, even the slug is black. Oh, look at that. Man, they're just, they want to make sure you know what you're putting in your shotgun. Oh, I'm not going to like this. All right, let's do it. Quit being a weenie, Eric. How about three more for the road here? I'll tell you what, I'll see if I can pop one in at long range because we're such fun-loving gentlemen here. Well, I don't know, we do have some honeydews left. Let's see if we can smash a honeydew with that slug. I'd say that's mission accomplished, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, man. You know, these, these shotguns are kind of neat. You know, we wanted to just kind of make a quick video, have a little bit of fun with this particular shotgun. Uh, this is William's shotgun. He let me borrow it here to make the video. Um, definitely an interesting shotgun, something you don't really see every day. Uh, the triple threat, it's been out a pretty good while. Uh, we've just now gotten around to making a video just sort of by chance, but... 
they really are cool shotguns and it's a great shotgun for somebody that wants something that's a little bit more out of the norm uh, something that you don't really see every day um, I know when these things first came out everybody was just really oohing and on over these because they are kind of cool you know and you know it's got the takedown feature which is really cool to get it into kind of a compact configuration it's just a really cool modern shotgun that's still a nod to the classics of the bygone era so guys thanks for watching today's video we really appreciate the support you guys are great um, again i know i say it in all the videos but i can't stress it enough you guys that support our channel financially you guys are awesome whether you're a patreon supporter whether you purchase man cans or whether you purchase merchandise and shirts over on the website all of those funds go right back into allowing us to do what we do as a channel and i can't thank you guys enough for allowing us to do this kind of stuff because without you we wouldn't be able to do this so if you enjoy the channel and you like the content and you'd like to support our channel directly that's the most direct way that you can support our channel if you wish thank you very much for watching today's video we'll see you next time many more videos on the way